Okay. It's your old grandpa coming back to you once again here. Goodness gracious, isn't it crazy times? Here we go, loop de loop, here we go, loop de lie. Here we go, loop de loop, until the day we die. Ah, how about until the day we fly? See, we're all about redefining the definition of what this thing is we call death and bringing it back to life so that we don't have to live in this disharmony again so that we can live as free and natural angelic beings inhabiting our mother earth and then carrying her energy forward inhabiting her with honor and grace like we've never done before and then carrying her energy forward into the new paradigm taking it with us wherever we go spreading it across all of the universes as the one child of earth that we are each and every one of us and all of us individually and collectively yeah you see we don't think about it too much. We're taught to really think about ourselves as unique individuals, each one of us. And hell yeah, we are. And it's a dang beautiful thing. Just like the fields of flowers, it's hard to tell. I mean, it's hard to see any... I mean, they're all uniquely individual. Gosh. You know, every one of them. Each one shaped even minutely different from the other. And here we are, these fine flowers, born of the flesh of the Mother Earth herself. Think of what a great honor this has been and is to this minute, to live here, to be here. And yes, to die here if that's our chosen situation. But as we say, the avenues of death are closing. Now, let me explain, <laughs> or at least try to tell you what's happening. You know, we all know what harmony is. We get it in our rock and roll, we get it in our chamber music, our country western, we get it in our music. We know that harmonies exist, that many different notes blend together to create a harmony, and there's many different levels of vibrations and tonages in that harmony that we create, that we call rock and roll. And by gosh, it's so damn good most time, it moves your old heart, makes you want to get up and dance. And, you know, it, it motivates life into being. The harmony. You know, the good stuff. Now, there are harmonies that are disagreeable, but we won't talk about that right now. The good stuff. This brings you right up off your feet. Well, you know, that's kind of the dynamic we live in is one big huge universal harmony and each one of us has our own little signal our own little wave our own tone to carry through into the harmony and guess what because it's ours individually it matches with everything that is it fits in its place in the universal harmony and adds richness and flavor to it and without that one little note that we represent, that one little tone that we are, that vibration, without that, the whole symphony would fall apart. It needs all of its parts. It doesn't need to lose any of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, here's an old cowboy talking about symphonies. But I'm thinking rock and roll symphonies because that's exactly what we live in. There's nothing easy about this place even when you're starting to get the hang of it, you know? You look at your enlightened ones throughout history. It's a tough old road they've had to walk. Even to get to where they could take everybody's shit for being who they are. And trying to set everybody up straight. Doesn't always work. <laughs> it's tough living here, man, you know, but it's beautiful. And man... The moments of poetic wonder here are without end. And you know, the closer to death they are, the more you feel like living. Let me tell you that. I can tell you that from personal experience many times over. 
You know, we've been around with death a few times in this life. It's been a challenge. I know I've probably talked about this before. But each time I encounter death, it makes me come, when I come back to life, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, I'm filled with appreciation for what we have here. You know, I'm filled with awe that we can deal with such gnarly conditions. I'm in wonder at what me as a person can do in this humble sort of way as a human being that doesn't know their full richness and power. It's amazing what we can do. It's amazing what we are. You know, I appreciate the richness, of, even the brownness of the grass in the winter. You know what I mean? The seeds on the sagebrush, the clouds in the sky, the haze. I mean, there's a richness here. And some of the most awful things. I mean, like the stuff they're spraying in the sky to block out the sun, those chemtrails they call them. Man, look at the rainbow sunsets we get. The oranges, reds, and golds. I mean, there's a plus to everything. <laughs> Sad to think that individuals would sink so low as to think they can alter the whole planet's history without the permission of the people. But you know, again, we're living in this harmony and we just haven't realized it yet. All we see is chaos. You know, I remember hearing the Boston Pops do a, a number one time that was complete and total chaos. Every instrument in that orchestra was going its own separate direction, had its own tune, and it was awful. I'll bet people were getting up and walking out of the audience. I heard it on video. But I'll bet people were getting up and walking out of the audience. And who could blame them if they did? But if you just listened, if you had the patience to endure that, you started hearing a thread of harmony down the middle of it, that chaos, after about ten minutes. And then gradually... Because there was that little thread of harmony, it created the magnetism that drew every instrument into its normal place. And intuitively, the rock and roll jam session began. The harmony, the chaos became the harmony that it had created right down the middle. It was always there. You just had to sit and endure. Like I said, for probably ten minutes. Or at least it seemed like ten minutes, might have been three. <laughs> but then you heard the melody, the thread of melody. Now you see, and then that expanded, it drew every instrument into it and became rock and roll soul, baby. Done only the way the Boston Pops can do it, man. It's beautiful. So, you see, this living here is a lot like that. You know, and when I look at what we've done here, at how far we've come, of what we've endured, holy cow, ancestors and all, you know, if we all died tomorrow, we would have done a beautiful thing right up until the moment we took our last breath. And we could all look back on it and say, Hot damn, what about that? <laughs> now I want you to think about that as you're going through your normal life, because normal life ain't lasting much longer. And we all know that it's coming. But we ain't ready. Hardly anyone. Well, at least that's what we feel, so there's lots of tension. Some people running for the rafters, but most folks just hanging on for dear life, waiting to see what happens next, because the earth is definitely in chaos. <laughs> just like the Boston Pop Symphony Orchestra was in that one number, man. But we're going to come out of this just fine, babies. Listen for your tone. See where you fit. Spend some time in communion with the heart. 
And no matter what's going on out here in the outer world, don't be distracted from your inner journey. I don't care if you jumped off a cliff and broke your leg when you landed. Babies, there's still time for this. You do it. I mean, we've lived through the most adverse conditions that God ever created for people to endure. So, we can sure as hell do a little tuning in. No matter our conditions. No matter how laid up we might be. The moment we got a little consciousness, we can do that. And we can help ourselves heal. I mean, maybe broken bones can heal in three days. I've seen it happen. I'm sure they can heal in 35 minutes. I'm sure the earth can heal in 35 seconds. All of her. So if you hear about Fukushima coming our way, well, it's already here for heck's sakes. How long ago did that thing, you know, belly up? A long time ago. There's been radiation in the air and the water ever since. Nobody talks about it because... There's so God blessed much radiation in the air already from over the years. I don't know where it all went. But they set off bomb after bomb after bomb back in the 50s and the 60s, man, in the atmosphere. They did all kinds of crazy stuff. Then there's all these nuclear plants, Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, and now Fukushima. Oh, I, I want to call it something else. Privately, I do. <laughs> But babies, and that's just the ones we know about, you know, nuke plants aren't, aren't such an impeccable record of safety, you know, especially ones that we're dealing with weapons and experimental stuff. Now I think about Hanford up there in Washington, how much radiation's got away from that. What about the atomic energy thing down there around Idaho Falls? And it all blows east, baby. <laughs> Not to mention the Rocky Flats. Uh, arsenal out there where they make plutonium bombs. Supposedly that's shut down now, but they had a lot of accidents there over the years. I mean, you know, shoot. Why ain't all of us dead? We should have been fried like a frizzle. <laughs> so you see, our history says just because there's radiation we don't have to die. I mean, there's been plenty enough of it here, I'm sure, to kill the whole earth many times over. We ain't dead, neither's the earth. We're in pretty rough shape sometimes, but we ain't dead. So think about that when you hear about Fukushima. We ain't dead yet, and we ain't gonna be. Because, you know, we're gonna realize our transformative powers and change our ways, and if anything comes at, at us like a big huge wave of plutonium radiation, you know, we're going to greet it with love in our hearts. We're going to smile at the sky and say, thank you for making me a human being and let me live. Because I freaking love it. And I accept this energy, whatever it is, as a transformative Babies, we've got kind of a hard road to hold. Because of this. And it's up to us now. Ain't nobody doing it for us. We've got the power in our hearts, in our love. And it's only going to take a few awakening souls to do it, and you know who you are because you've already been doing it. We just got to expand the numbers a little bit and get it out there. So that we can be healed and made whole by all of this. And not be destroyed by our own damn foolishness. <laughs> not everything here is what it seems to be. And you'll forgive me, I'm, I'm getting kind of emotional today because I feel what's coming. You know, I'm a unique being in my own right because I am awake enough that I feel everything. <laughs> At least that's happening here on earth. And each time I do, there's an involuntary little prayer come through my being. Help us to end this suffering and get through it and endure it with 
dignity. Be honorable to ourselves. And thank you for every breath I take. For every moment I live. In this crazy old world of chaos. So babies. We've got this energy. It comes from the gentler side of ourselves. Not so much the warrior any longer. Settle inside. Find the truth that is there. Let your hardened side be awakened right along with the rest of you. Treat it gently. That's what I'm doing, and babies, it's working. We'll get through this. It's a step into paradise. And it's not the death. <laughs> and disaster that we could have made it into. We're better than that, babies. We know our stuff. And we got it in our heart to do this as a human race. As natural beings born on this planet. Each one an inheritor of breath. A combiner of earth and sky and water. The junction of all the eternal energies of love. Each person and this earth. when you realize where you live inside yourself first and then you see it in the earth you'll feel the same as I do you'll feel it all coming you'll feel it all inside what's going on but you know what you can endure it or you can find the nobler side of it and feel that and know the love that is so willing to endure anything that it's done everything again itself so that as it can comes back into itself it can be just like what we are after we've been to death and come back to life appreciative in love with the love understanding then where this love can go how to be oh I don't like this term but how to be more responsible with that love how to make it a dynamic and expansive experience without ever endangering the soul again things like that there's many benefits here to this planetary ascension that we're stepping into just remember not everything here is what it appears to be and no kids that I'm not the only one loving you that that love is there inside of you that you have the capacity not only to feel everything but to love everything and this is how we get by and this is how we're going to clear the oceans of radiation and this is how we're not going to die from any such thing. And this blue star that's coming, I feel, is a symbol of a great change for humanity. I don't think it's particularly disaster. I think we're at the time of the gateway opening. And that this is our opportunity to shine, babies. So let's get inside of our heart. I can't give you enough encouragement. Give yourself as much time individually and together. Practice love communion. Join hands in circles with people that are close to you vibrationally. People that match your little bit of harmony, baby. You know, we already live in a rock and roll medicine show. 
Maybe one day after we get through all of this, we'll create some rock and roll medicine show party down all across this planet. Maybe there's a real fun form of paradise awaiting us where we can let go of all the parameters, all of the craziness, all of the restrictions, all of the slavery, and just be happy and dance our little fannies off and in so doing create creation through our motion, our love motion. <laughs> love motion in the potion, baby. <laughs> so sorry to get a little serious there for a moment, babies, but yeah, you got to realize what's coming. Don't lie to yourself, but no, we're here to change it. Yeah. Like I said, video before last, Bullshit's out the window now, babies. <laughs> it's time for rock and roll. God, I love you, babes. Let's keep this planet together. Let's get everybody freaking happy. Let's make that our goal. No matter what, let's get every human and animal person and plant person and everybody else on this planet happy. So that no one can live in the state of a miserable existence any longer. I mean, what the hell is it? Why, why not? Don't focus on the framework that's falling apart. Focus on the love that's putting us back together again. And we'll heal every fucking thing that ever went wrong here and then some. Because we got through it. Babies, you rock. We got through it. Catch you in a little while, baby.